Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to go over the breakdown of the FE exam in terms of time. I'm also going to share with you my experience when I took the FE exam, and then we're going to end it with how much time you should spend on each section. Oh yeah, everybody now. So the FE exam is a total of five hours and 20 minutes, and you have to answer 110 questions. Now, if we take that and we break it down, you get about 2.9 minutes per question. Now, I don't recommend spending 2.9 minutes on each problem because every problem is different. Some problems are easier and they might require just 30 seconds and other problems might be more difficult or they just require more steps and you might need to spend more than three minutes. Now, the FE exam is broken down into two sections, which we call at engineer the morning and the afternoon section. Now, the morning section basically is just the first half of the exam before you are asked to take the 25 minute break. Now, you get to ask to take the 25 minute break somewhere around the 53 or the 58 question. It just really depends on the person. After you take the break, then it's time for the afternoon portion or the second half of the exam. Now let's talk about my FE experience a little bit. So when I was preparing for the FE exam, I used to believe that you should spend more time in the afternoon section than the morning because the afternoon has longer questions, more difficult, and it requires more time than the morning portion of the exam. When I took my FE exam, I really tried to spend two hours and 30 minutes in the morning, which left me about two hours and 15 minutes in the afternoon section. Now, I don't recommend doing that anymore. After talking to hundreds of students, I realized that that time does not work for everyone. So some students would spend three hours in the morning section and they still pass the FE exam. Now, if you have taken your FE exam before, let me know in the comments how much time did you actually spend on each section. Now, let's talk about what I recommend now. So what I usually suggest to students is try to spend more time on the sections that, are, that come easier to you or you're just more confident in them. So for example, let's say you're a civil engineering student and you are good at math, statics, mechanics of materials, fluid mechanics, then maybe you should spend more time in the morning section than the afternoon portion. But if you feel more confident in the geotech questions, structures, environmental, then maybe make sure to, left, to leave more time for the afternoon portion. Uh, the other thing I'm going to suggest that you guys do is make sure that when you are during your exam, when you are doing problems, try not to stay stuck in the problems that you don't know, right? If you're spending more than three minutes or you are working on a problem and you're not even getting close to the, to the answer within the three minutes, maybe it's time to flag that problem and just move on. I've seen a lot of students that would stay so stuck in one problem that they don't know and, and they don't end up finishing their exam or they rush through the questions. And so make sure that you do the problems that you know first and then come back to the problems that you're not sure about or they're just more difficult. Now, if you want to learn more about how to flag the questions during the exam so it saves you a lot of time, make sure that you guys check this video here. I talk about it more in details and I really recommend that you guys uh, check it out. The other thing that I'm going to also recommend here is that make sure that you guys take a practice exam and time yourself so that way you can see how you're doing with the time management. You can also be able to tell where are your weaknesses, what are your strengths, and that will give you a good idea of during the exam where you should spend more your time in, right? Which subjects you should spend more time in them. And then again, if you want, if you guys want the what are the best practice exams to take make sure to check out this playlist here we talk about the practice exams to take how to take them how to learn from your mistakes and all that so make sure that you guys check them out and the last thing i'm gonna recommend is that make sure that you guys download this cheat sheet as well it has very important equations and concepts that you should know before you take your fe exam a lot of the equations that are already provided to you guys on the reference manual, but there are some concepts and equations that are not giving to you and you should know them before you take your FE. So make sure that you guys download this cheat sheet, go over those equations, make sure you know how to use these equations 
to be able to solve the problems. Now, if you are right now studying for your FE exam or you're just starting to study and if you have questions about the FE exam, it could be about anything, go ahead and submit your question here and I will answer that on the next video. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great week and I will see you on the next video. A la prochaine. Oh, yeah.